Hey guys, it's Ramon from Eclectic Emissary and we are back in Berlin, man. Back in Deutschland, Germany. So it's been about five years, so I'm super excited to be back here. We are going to be going around the city doing the top sites, of course, as you know. So it's going to be awesome to actually come back a second time and see how things have changed, you know? So I'm pretty excited. So hope you guys are also excited because Berlin is an exciting city with so much style, culture, and awesome things to see. So let's get right to it. All right, so our first stop is actually going to Museum Island. So right in the center of downtown, there's an island. It's right here behind me and there's tons of awesome museums on it. Go figure. So we're gonna go check it out. And uh, the first stop is gonna be the Pergamon Museum. All right, and just after we cross the bridge to head to Museum Island, you can see this imposing Berliner Dom right here. So Berlin Cathedral, super cool. So we're gonna stop and check it out. Wow, Museum Island is so incredible, man. There's so many awesome museums to see here. So there's Norris Museum, the Body Museum, Pergamon, that's the one that we're gonna choose. There's a tons of options here. So I feel like you can spend the entire day here if you have it. So you love museums? This should definitely be on your list. Okay, so we purchased our ticket to the Pergamon Museum. Actually, it comes free with an audio guide. So that's super cool that that's included. Uh, it was about 12 euros, but if you want entrance to all the museums on Museum Island, just pay 19 euros, which is a pretty good deal. So definitely check that out if you got a lot of time. Also, keep in mind that you can't bring backpacks in, so you have to get a locker, which costs one euro. So you put one euro in and get the key and yeah, drop your bag off downstairs. So right behind me is the famous Istar Gate of Babylon, one of the richest cities ever to be lived in the world. It's crazy, man, how magnificent and blue this is. And it has all these like guardian deities all over. This is insane, man. This is one of the coolest things I've ever seen in any museum, which is insane. Because I just went to Detroit, actually, and uh, we saw a piece of this wall over there as well. So interesting to see the entire gate. So we're back in Berlin. So we made it to the famous Berlin Wall Memorial where part of the Berlin Wall actually stands behind us. And there's an entire memorial section for all of the about 140 people that died trying to cross the Berlin Wall. And then this is truly a tragic story of how East and West Germany were divided by the uh, Russians and just a horrible, horrible thing man that the families were separated from each other and they weren't even allowed to cross into their own country super crazy man so this is different than the east side gallery which we'll be checking out later so definitely stay tuned for that but this is super cool kind of acts like an open air museum there's even like little stands we can read and listen to audio guides and stuff so definitely check it out Okay, made it to Post Down the Flats, another huge square, and they even have some pieces of the Berlin Wall right there. Pretty cool area, so let's check it out. So the Mall of Berlin is right here in Post Down the Flats, so if you want to go and pick up some souvenirs, there's a cool souvenir shop, so yeah, check it out. And there's tons of other uh, expensive ass uh, stores you can shop at too.
to the Brandenburg Tor. Brandenburg Gate is Berlin's most iconic monument. And if you come during sunset, you get to watch the sun go right through the gate. It's freaking awesome, man. I definitely highly recommend coming here. Plus, it's close to a lot of other iconic monuments around Berlin. So it's super accessible to the subway and the tier garden and so much anything. So definitely come here. Okay, so now we are going to the Heistag, which is another prominent building uh, in Berlin, and it is actually considered the capital building. So it's free to go in and get a tour of, you just have to make sure to reserve your tickets online and uh, select the time slot, so I'll leave a link to that in the strip room below. But you can go to the top and get some pretty awesome views, so let's check it out. So German Bundestag is super awesome. You get to walk all the way to the top. Actually, they give you a guided audio tour, which is super cool. But I would recommend trying to book in advance so you get like a daytime thing because it's kind of hard to see all the buildings at night. But other than that, super cool. of Terror Museum is freaking awesome. Actually, everything's free. There's even an introductory film that you can watch. It's like six minutes long and it's super informative. Highly recommend watching that before you start your tour. And there's also a free audio guide. So you just download it onto your phone and you can pretty much check out everything. So the significance of this building is basically it was the headquarters for the Gestapo, the secret police of the Nazi regime. And this is where they planned most of their heinous crimes against humanity. So this is a super interesting part of history. Definitely recommend checking it out. Okay, so we're at the famous Checkpoint Charlie. This is basically one of the most famous border crossing between the US and Soviet sides of Berlin. So, pretty interesting to see. Uh, and there's a little bit of information over there too. You can go find out more. So, yeah, go check it out. Fun fact, if you're wondering who this guy is, I think that's Jeffrey Harper, one of the last uh, few soldiers from the Allied forces to leave Checkpoint Charlie, so that's cool. All right, so we made it to the Berlin Wall East Side Gallery, man. Probably the most famous wall in the world, man. And it's covered with tons of inspirational art by uh, lots of German artists. Right after the wall went down, they just painted this up with lots of great uh, messages, inspirational stuff for people to see, and it's really awesome. So yeah, let's go check out some of the awesome famous artwork along the wall. Right, so the East Side Gallery stretches for about 1.6 kilometers. So also, it was designed, all this artwork, by uh, 21 different artists from all around the world.
right behind us is the Oberbaumbrücke, which is this Russian style bridge. So basically that's how you know you're on East Berlin side because it was Russian controlled and there's lots of uh, architecture that reflects that. So. Now we're headed to the Fanziterm. Oh, where is it? Fanziterm. So that is the Berliner TV tower, basically. And it's one of the tallest buildings in in Germany. I think also in the European Union, which is insane. So we got tickets online, so we can go all the way to the top. There's even a restaurant and a 3D thing that you can do, I guess, if you want. So there's tons of options to buy online. So let's check it out. ticket we also purchased the Ber Berlin Odyssey which is like a VR simulation thing basically it takes you to the past of Berlin and Germany and it is incredible I was not expecting like the VR to be that cool like I actually felt like I was there in, in some moments like and it told the story so well I feel like that's gonna be the future of all museums so I highly recommend adding that to the top of your observation deck tour if you can because it is freaking awesome Right, and there you have it, the top things to do in Berlin, man. This is such a diverse city. So much color, so much art and history. You can just see all the self-expression written on the walls with the graffiti and murals everywhere. And it's, it's a great time, man. I really love Berlin. I think it's an awesome city. So if you guys come to Germany, make sure you hit it up, man. So let me know, what is your favorite thing to do in Berlin? Or what are you excited about seeing in the future? But anyway, until next time, Please like and subscribe, it helps out the channel a lot because we're going to be making tons and tons more travel content. So it's going to be a great time. So I'll see you guys later. Peace out.